Let us find the derivative of sin x using first principle. Derivative of function is defined as limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx by h if the limit exists. Therefore, derivative of sin x is defined as limit h tends to 0 sin of x plus h minus sin x by h of course if this limit exists. Now we know the formula sin c minus sin d equal to 2 sin c minus d by 2 times cos c plus d by 2. So this limit is equal to limit h tends to 0 2 sin c minus d by 2. So x plus h minus x by 2. x plus h minus x by 2 times cos cos x plus h c plus d by 2 so x plus h plus x by 2. You see that we can cancel x and x out and we did it. So this limit is equal to limit h tends to 0 sin oh I forgot the h on the denominator sin h by 2 sin h by 2 by h times cos uh, 2x by 2 is simply x plus h by 2. Now we know that limit of product equal to product of limit provided both the limit exist. So this is equal to limit h tends to 0 limit h tends to 0 sine of h by 2 by h times limit h tends to 0 cos of x plus h by 2. Now you see that oh I forgot the 2 sin c minus sin d is 2 sin c minus d by 2 into cos c plus d by 2. So 2, 2, okay, 2. Now let's divide by 2 on the numerator as well as denominator. So we can divide by 2. As h tends to 0, h by 2 all should also tends to 0. Conversely, if h by 2 tends to 0, then h should also tends to 0. So this same limit is same as limit h by 2 tends to 0 sin of h by 2 by h by 2 sin of h by 2 by h by 2. Times limit h tends to 0 but h, h tends to 0 cos of x plus h by 2 will simply tends to cos x. What about this one? You see that limit h tends to 0, sin h, limit h tends to 0, sin h by h is 1. So that is same as limit h by 2 tends to 0, sin h by 2 by h by 2, which is again 1. So this limit is simply 1 times cos x. So the limit exists and that is exactly equal to cos x. So the derivative of sin x is cos x.